Hi everyone, so today I'm doing the April edition of Love Me Beauty. So yes, thank you so much to the people that wrote under the last Love Me Beauty box video to tell me that I was behind and that I needed to basically get my act together and um, order this Tams box. So obviously you were spot on and I was just receiving probably like the, the drabs of the last of the box before because I just wasn't ordering it in time. So anyway, I have ordered it and I went for option two and I kind of put this up on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, please do. It's just at Liverpool Lashes. The link is in the description bar. But anyway, I put this up on Instagram um, about the options and people were saying that they weren't even going to pick this time's box because lots of people weren't happy with it. But again, I wasn't sure that you were actually able to do that. So I did go ahead and I ordered it anyway. So the first thing that I noticed is obviously because I'm now back in the loop with the right sort of um, the menus and stuff like that and now being in the boxes because I'm now back on track with actually ordering the box like everybody else. So I'm happy to see that because it's got all the information in there. Then I'm just going to show you what I chose. So here is the box. Generally, I mean, it was... Two hair products, I think we're, were in everyone's boxes. There was two hair products, one nail polish and um, the rollerball, which I'll show you in a second. So I chose this box. So the first one is, by the way, ignore, I've been swatching things. So I've got purple all over my hand. But we've got the Redkin uh, little sample. So this is the colour Extend. So it's the, just their conditioner. So it's a conditioner for colour treated hair to uh, resurface the cuticle with a smooth, vibrant finish, detangles and provides protection from fading agents um, while restoring the colour. So, I mean, to be honest, I just got this box for the Model Zone product because the all of the other boxes, I already have that polish because I've got so many of the Model Zone polishes. So anyway, that's the reason why I picked this box in particular, but actually I don't need this colour treated hair one because my hair is my own colour or it's got blonde in it as well. Um, so the only thing that I need is moisture as opposed to looking after the colour itself. But either way, full size of this, obviously that's a sample, full size is 9 99 The next one is the other hair care product. So this is by Neil and Wolf. This is full size and it's their Glow Super Shine Spray. So it's 100 mils for £9.50. It says it's a luxurious and weightless mist that gives a deep uh, lasting radiance and shine. It's got a unique formula that helps to smooth hair, control frizz and reduce static. And the result apparently is incredible all over shine that leaves the hair glowing. I have already sprayed this. To me it smells a lot like a sort of argan oil, uh, argan oil, argan oil or Moroccan oil. Um, so yeah we'll see how that goes i am keen to try it out because i'm a bit funny with hair products because i don't want anything to weigh my hair down but as this says that it's weightless and when you spray it you can see that it's a super fine mist so i do, I do believe that that's true the next one which is one that i think came in every box so regardless of what you chose it's this here and it's by betty hula so this is full size and it's called the secret wonder oil rollerball so this, this is literally a rollerball at the end of there. And it says that it's a newest addition to the Betty Hula range. It's a highly versatile, great smelling, moisturising oil. Suitable for all skin types. It boosts the, skin na the skin's natural moisture barrier to promote radiance. While the rollerball works to encourage circulation through the gentle massage. This is a bit weird because it kind of smells a little bit... Um, let me just remind myself actually... The thing that got me, yeah, it's kind of like um, lemon iced tea, something like that. Like a, a, a green tea sort of scent, I think, is the best way to describe it, which I love. But the thing that I find really weird about it is it's meant to be good for like stretch marks and different things like that to help um, relieve them and help with the scarring and stuff like that. But I just find that it's in a really weird little size for something that I would imagine that would be rolled over your body. I just imagine it would be a larger size than this, even though obviously it would be more expensive 
that's what I'd imagine for it because this one isn't going to get you very far. This is like 10 mils and it's £6.25. But it does actually, the scent of it in itself is actually really nice. So it'd be something to use after the shower or bath, but it's not really going to get you very far with only 10 mils. So it's a bit of a weird product because I would imagine it would have been bigger, maybe at the size of the Neil and Wolf um, product. I don't know. It's just me, but that's what I thought. And the last thing is this one here. So it's the Model Zone. It's the nail art pen. And um, the only colour that was available with the choice was pastel pink, which wouldn't necessarily be something I'd choose because typically, well, not all the time, but typically the colours you use really is black and white um, for nail art pens. But anyway, so it says that it's got a dual application system. It's got a thin nib at the tip. And then it has also got uh, another... When you twist it up here, it has also got a longer striping brush. So that's £6. We'll see how things go. It is kind of a small one. Um, For a minute, actually, when I got it, I thought it was actually some sort of like trial size because it's a little bit smaller than what I actually thought it would be for £6. Um, it's smaller than the Barry M ones anyway, I think. So that's that. That is all of the box. I don't know what this is actually to be honest I've not even looked at this I know it sounds stupid but things like this I just find is just normally a gimmick and that uh, my mind just wants to gloss over them Um, so no idea what that is I'll look at it at a later stage but I have no hope that it will be of anything that I'll be interested in so to be quite honest with you so that is that that is the box that I chose overall yeah i mean i'm obsessed with hair products at the moment so the neil and wolf will definitely kind of be something that i'll be keen to try out the rollerball is nice the nail art pen will definitely be used the conditioner is what it is it's not maybe the most exciting box definitely not for someone who's a makeup lover because obviously none of it is anywhere near makeup but for me it kind of it feeds my hair craze it feeds the kind of the hair thing the oils definitely because i'm obsessed with like um the scent of tea at the moment so the rollerball is fine for me but that's my thoughts on it let me know what you think if you've tried the products don't forget to kind of give it a like subscribe follow me on instagram twitter all that stuff um on my facebook page and thanks very much for watching